terrific. Hello. Ashley, Taylor, Jessica, hey, congratulations for the second season of Motherland, Fort Thank Salem. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I would love to ask all these questions, but I'm afraid to uh, to reveal spoilers. And <laughs> but um, let, let's add, let's start off with the easy one. Why do you suppose that you know Motherland Fort Salem is so successful? Why does it resonate to the fans? Who wants to try that one out? The representation. Yeah. Very <laughs> yeah, we said the same thing. <laughs> yeah, people see themselves. The representation on screen. I think. That's so important in this day and age, um, whether it's the LGBTQ community or for me personally, I love that little black girls can see me as like a black warrior and aspire to be that. Um, and even to be a lead in a television show as a black woman is such a huge deal to me. Um, so I, I feel like representation and seeing yourself on screen, nothing compares to that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Well, well, well spoken. Jessica, let me, let me direct this question to you. At the end of the season, you're old. How does that feel? You're old. <laughs> I knew it was coming, so it wasn't a surprise. And um, so yeah, it was, I mean, Elliot pretty much told me as we were shooting the pilot that that was going to be how season one ends. Tally was going to make this ultimate sacrifice and I love that he did tell me because I mean halfway through shooting season one it just felt like Tally was going from heartbreak to heartbreak she was this you know innocent doe-eyed shiny enthusiastic passionate being and um, coming from such a protected matrifocal community having really no exposure to the outside world the real world and uh, the consequences of love, death, and war. I, I had the question throughout shooting, like, will she just lose her heart? Like, will she just become someone totally different? And I've seen people in my own life who have been hit one too many times and just haven't gotten up. And how those knocks have taken their joy, their hope, um, of made them cynical, distrusting. And uh, I was really scared at, in a moment that that was gonna be Tally's fate. And then having that kind of lifeline that she was gonna do this incredible sacrifice just proved to me that she indeed did keep her heart. So I wasn't really thinking about the old aspect so much as I was thinking about the weight and the gravitas of the moment, which Luckily, I just had to look in my formidable co-star's eyes, Lynn Renee, and offer her my life. <laughs> yeah, and just not break eye contact. Um, so, yeah, being old was, wasn't a surprise. And I think Tally also, I mean, I think she has an idea, if there can be an idea in a split second of necessity to decide to put your life on a line. That as the you know the good soldier, she this is this is what soldiers are trained to do in the heat of battle, is to do what needs to be done. So um, <clears throat> she will then learn come season two uh, the consequences mm -hmm. of that action um, that she made in a second, and she will have to probably spend a lifetime living with that consequence because it does kind of it. It's, it's like a Pandora's box, you know, she, yeah. that decision will influence a lot of where season two picks up and the bed, the breadcrumbs throughout the story. Excellent. Taylor, the, uh, an <laughs> ultimate power is going to be revealed uh, with, with your character. Is this a blessing or a curse? This is sort of what I was previously talking about. So, I mean, Raelle is now discovering a sense of importance because when we first meet her at the beginning of season one, she's lost all help for herself. She was willing to go full kamikaze and um, she has nothing to look forward to. She has nothing in her life to live for. So as much as the girls have given her purpose, this is only only adding to that direction. But it's it's a really heavy weight to carry and it's it's a lot of pressure. And, you know, as much as it can make you feel important, it can also be the thing that breaks you. 
And uh, one of the elements I was talking about is just uh, leadership in general. Rael is, as much as she loves to challenge authority, she's not, she's not a leader by any means. She's, uh, she's very much a lone wolf. So she kind of only leads when she has to, which I, I see much of myself in, in that component of her. Um, you know, she's really naturally strong and really naturally gifted. And she just carries that authoritarian energy with her, which is, you know, I think people really listen to what she has to say because she only speaks when she feels she needs to. Um, but throughout the season, you see um, these facets of um, every piece of herself colliding, you know, her past, her present, her future. And um, you see the changes in her physically, uh, you know, in her hair and the way she interacts with people and her community and the way she holds herself. Um, in her tone of voice even, you know, she becomes a little bit more commanding and a little bit less afraid, but it's, it's a very, very heavy weight to carry. And uh, this mm -hmm. season is <laughs> incredibly heavy in itself for every, mm -hmm. everybody. And it's, I think it's really, it's really felt. So hold on your seat. <laughs> and then I'll throw Ashley just a quick question here. Yeah. You have, you, you, you have the romance with Adil. Is that going to blossom? It sure is, baby. <laughs> yeah, you know, Abigail and Adil, I think this relationship Abigail needed. Um, she was such a hard shell. She was a queen bee. She didn't let anyone see her sweat. And I feel like um, Adil coming in allowed her to break down her walls, allowed her to show her vulnerability. Um, and he kind of brought her back to reality and grounded her. Um, and I feel like moving forward, Abigail, um, she doesn't have a chip on her shoulder anymore. She can just open up to her girls, open up to, um, you know, everyone who genuinely loves her. So, um, yes, that relationship is blossoming. <laughs> um, it's, it's a beautiful one that I'm, I'm glad I get to share with everyone. Yeah. And, that, and that's what we love to hear. Ladies, hey, congratulations for the second season. I can't wait to talk to you more about it hopefully later on thank you, thank you so much thank you bye now